Hello there, fellow nerds. Today we're going to be talking about an awesome website called Code Fights. In this website, they really specialize on just bringing the daily challenge to us as uh, programmers. I'm going to be particularly talking about a very interesting section that seems to be fairly new, although it is more from something that I knew in the past. But to me, this is brand new. I have not looked at this. I have not ran through it. It's interview practice. Now, when you get there, they give you a couple different options. I just did the very far one on the left, which is like the quick, short, let's get through it. Um, the eight things, I think they called it, that you need, eight topics that you need to ace for any programming interview. I personally love, love, love the challenge of just making sure I'm staying up to date on the algorithms, making sure data structures are good. And what's important is a lot of times we will go through school, we'll learn all this stuff, and then we don't use it every day. We don't use it on our jobs, right? Maybe we're a web developer. So web developers, why the heck would we really use linked lists? It just doesn't happen. We don't typically use those that much. Uh, if you start doing some of the business logic in that end, you may find yourself using it. So ultimately, let's jump right into it. So first off, we can see a couple different categories here. Uh, it does actually look like some of my old stuff does count because here it's got one out of five and two out of seven. So let's just start with arrays. Arrays seem rather simple. And, oh, this is first duplicate asked by Google. So sometimes these can take a little bit of time, sometimes they don't. So we need to write a solution with big O of n time complexity and big O of one additional space complexity. So what that means is this needs to run in linear time. We can literally only iterate over the array one time. Since this is what you would be asked to do in a real interview. Given an array, A, that contains only numbers in the range from one to A dot length, find the first duplicate number for which the second occurrence as the minimal index. In other words, if there are more than one duplicated number, return the number for which the second occurrence has a smaller index than the second occurrence of the other number does. If there are no such elements, you're gonna return negative one. Okay, so let's look at their examples. I think in my mind I have an understanding of what's happening, but I think the examples are gonna help clarify that. And keep in mind, this is a question that's asked at Google. <clears throat> So let's say we have an array that's 2 comma 3 comma 3 comma 1 comma 5 comma 2 2 3 3 1 5 2 the first duplicate would be 3 there is only one duplicate there so that's pretty easy right so ultimately uh this can be done very easily in exponential complexity i already see a solution in my head for how that would work we're going to have to really think about a linear solution so while I start thinking about that and we start working through it, let's go over here on the right side. Uh, the cool thing about this editor is we actually can pick out of tons of languages. I was going to say millions, but there aren't that many languages. I typically go in JavaScript just because it's a quick, quick language for me to write things in. You can also write your own custom test. This interface has changed a little bit. Uh, it also looks like they have some clues which this did not exist the last time I used it. So that's kind of interesting because there are times that there, there are just times that you just get stuck with things. So for example, this is a test that I would need to run here. There's another test and that's the two that were shown there. So and then if there is no duplicate, it'd be negative one. Okay, so let's... <clears throat> So maybe the way that we'll approach this from the standpoint of a solution is we will write a bad solution first. So let's just make, let's just do this here.
syntax error. Oh, oh, jeez. All right, let's run that test again. Let's see how many errors that caused. Okay, so we know the bad solution now. Now let's look at how we can optimize this out. So actually, I found this cool little trick here, and the five actually is just going to be eight out one. So that way, everything in this array is going to have a negative one in it. And then all we're going to check, we're going to change this if statement completely. I'm just going to get rid of it. Indexes i. And actually, you know what? I want to make this a large number. Let's do eight out length. Yeah, okay, so we've now improved to a better solution. formatting, get rid of that. They used to care a lot about the size or the, the amount of characters in your code. I don't know if they do that as much anymore. So let's just run our test, make sure we didn't break anything. Shouldn't have. We're going to try submitting and see what happens. If this is not good enough, we are probably going to fail. We, we passed. And I solved it without any hints. I got a thousand gold, 20% done. But I want to go back to that one really badly. I'm hoping it lets me look at other people's other people's solutions. So there are a lot. And I'd like to look at the top ones with JavaScript. Sure. So this guy got a lot of votes. So he's probably going to have something pretty powerful. Yeah, but he's using a similar approach to what I am with the set. I'm just doing it a more traditional. This is almost identical to my solution. Now, this is actually very interesting because this person actually meets the parameters. If I'm thinking about this right, this person actually meets the parameters of big O to the one. So if a number is found first, time make a absolute value of number minus one negative. That is pretty fascinating. That's pretty brilliant. I actually really like this solution. Identical, like just absolutely identical to what I've got. Same basic thing. So, like, if we were to highlight off of that, you can see my code's identical. So, although I don't think we did as good as we possibly could have, we nailed it. We got our thousand gold. We passed all the hidden tests, and and that uh, that we did it. So, I I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
and please check out Code Fights. I am in no way affiliated with them in any way whatsoever, but I love what they're doing. I've actually had some conversations with some of their members of their company. They are absolutely phenomenal people, and they're doing great stuff for us in our community. I don't ultimately think we got a win out of this one, even though we got our credit. I don't think we met all the criteria, but you know what? We accomplished it, and it looks like we're right in line with some of the, the higher ranking solutions. We did it without using any hints, which actually I do want to try hints just to see what that's like. So anyway, till next time, peace out, nerds.